You don't need to boil water, remember that. We are going to pasteurize, and as soon as that wax melts and falls to the bottom, we've reached the pasteurizing temperature. I want to give a little test of this water pasteurizer from StoveTech, made out of stainless steel, and it mounts on, I've got it mounted right now on a silver fire rocket stove, but it also sits on top of a StoveTech rocket stove. And this will pasteurize four liters of water and takes advantage of this chimney that um, goes straight down to the rocket stove right there. Pretty lightweight piece of gear. I don't know the exact weight, but very, very light. It's got a pour spout and a lift handle as well as a little stabilizing handle down there. But what I like the most about this particular piece of equipment is this right here. Now you'll see that red wax that's at the top of this tube and this sits right down in here in the water and the whole feature of this stove and pasteurizer is that you do not need to boil water to get clean sterile water for human consumption you're going to pasteurize and once this wax, pretty simple, once this wax melts and falls to the bottom of this tube you've reached the pasteurizing temperature. I've got a free afternoon. I'm going to fire up the silver fire stove. I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago. Very nice little stove, very lightweight. So this whole combination I like a lot. It's very very lightweight and uh, we'll time it and see how long it takes to pasteurize four liters of water. So you can see it's a nice cone shaped pasteurizer and the heat rises right up to the center space and pasteurizes the water. Let's give it a go. So a couple of warning features here. You don't want to fill this pasteurizer above the water line which is marked right here. Of course this is very hot and you need to be careful about touching this. But um, okay if you use the handle and the little stabilizer handle to uh, lift it. You don't need to boil water, remember that. We are going to pasteurize and as soon as that wax melts and falls to the bottom we've reached the pasteurizing temperature. Well I have a very plentiful supply of sticks like this all around our property. So we'll uh, use a few of these, put them in the firebox. Other things you can use with this stove include pine cones and Lord knows I have a plentiful supply of pine needles. Actually let's put a pine cone in there. And we'll get going. All right, we've got a good fire going. I'm going to put the pasteurizer on. And right now it is 2.30. Let's see how long it takes to pasteurize four liters of water. One thing you'll notice is there's no smoke coming out of this uh, chimney right here. Just heat coming right up through the pasteurizer. All right, well, it's been 15 minutes. It's 2.45. Let's take a look here. And we still have more to go. All right, well, this is my first time using the pasteurizer, and I think midway through that 15-minute burn, I inadvertently let the heat die down a little bit, and so we didn't have as much heat rising up through the central chimney of the pasteurizer, and um, I think we're back on target here. All right, well, it's 2.50. We're uh, 20 minutes into the uh, pasteurizer, and there we go. You can take a look there, the wax has melted and we have now pasteurized the water. We don't need to boil the water. That's our indicator that the water is 
pasteurized and ready for human consumption. All right, to reset that wax, you just turn it upside down and let all that wax go back to the bottom. And then you can just set it right like that and let it cool. We've reset that wax indicator and now we're ready to pasteurize another four liters of water. I'm going to pour a little pasteurized water in my uh, clean canteen and uh, of course I'll have to let it cool off before I can drink it, but um, I know that it's clean water. All right, well, I think that's an awesome, very compact, lightweight system. And I just pasteurized four liters of water in 20 minutes. I'm sure I could do it a little bit quicker next time around with some familiarity with the system and keeping the, uh, keeping the flame fueled. I went through four sticks of uh, just scrap sticks laying around our property that were perhaps about that long and maybe half inch to three quarter inch in diameter and uh, the, the fire is still burning so uh, very efficient system and um, I think a great option if you're looking at a preparedness uh, situation where you want something lightweight portable very serviceable and robust and something that you can use over and over again with any biomass that you can pick up on the ground. Sticks, pine cones, pine needles, scrap wood. That is the Stove Tech water pasteurizer and we were using the Silver Fire Survivor Rocket Stove. Very lightweight stainless steel construction. We are branching into a new organization called Silver Fire. These stoves represent 2013 technology where we're going to improve uh, heat transfer and efficiency to even a greater degree than our older stove tech models. And these will be the new cutting edge products down the road. They'll be closer to 40% efficient for heat transfer, reduce uh, emissions even more than our older products. We will use stainless steel bodies. We will use ceramic fiber insulation for greater heat transfer and greater durability. Uh, than What's our, the weight on those left? The, the weight on these new products will be half that of our older extruded ceramic products that are very efficient but we can reduce weight and have more durability and new designs using not just primary natural draft air, but also secondary air, meeting, meeting greater efficiencies. We're also going to move into gasifiers and fan stoves for greater emission reductions, yeah. stoves that we could use indoors. And you were talking about pizza ovens and sterilizers. Yes. And we also will be bringing out the first green pizza bread oven that uses just a minimal amount of fuel with equal temperature, top and bottom, side to side, front to back in the stove, unlike uh, black pizza ovens that many people are familiar with now. We also have biomass garden lanterns with flames four feet high that go for eight hours, minimal amount of fuel. We have some very exciting home cabin uh, stoves with hot demand water that you can run a shower and plumb up to 10 radiators with. And to give you an idea of the efficiency, you can boil a gallon, gallon out of water in 12 minutes. Uh, this is going to be much faster than most people's electric or gas ranges they currently have in their homes now. And where do we look for those coming out those products? What's these, the these, uh, this website will be up in uh, later fall of 2012 at www silverfire.us Thank you so much. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. All right.